Welcome, this is the Tennessee end of course practice test number three for algebra one, question number 22. Like you needed more numbers in your life. But anyway, the question says solve the absolute value of 3x minus 5 is less than or equal to 10. In this case, it's just a simple solution style question, so it shouldn't be that overly taxing. In my classroom, because I'm a weirdo, I talk about absolute value in the sense that cars think in absolute value. If they drive five miles, even d if the GPS isn't involved in the situation, all they have is the odometer. So they can tell you how fast, how far they drove, but not what direction. So I have one case where I say that this is the absolute value is almost like car quotation marks. So it doesn't change. If you changed anything inside of it in the pro in the middle of the problem before you did, you know, you took the absolute value six away, it wouldn't be absolute anymore. So the whole absolute value concept would go away completely. But anyway, to address this, we say that. The car won't lie, but there's two tales that could be told. He tells you the truth and he's right, so he is less than or equal to 10. And on the other side, so say this means he drove east, or it points to the west, so why not? So he drove west 10 miles. But if he didn't, he'd still tell you the truth, whatever he says in 3x minus 5, but not only would he not be going 10 to the west, he'd be going 10 to the east, which makes it negative. It would also change his perspective, like when you drive down a street and McDonald's is on the left, if you're driving the other way, it's on the right. So what used to be less than is now greater than. So when you set these two up, split it into two problems, change the keep the original sign and in inequality, and in the other problem, change the sign and flip the inequality to address both of those issues, perspective and direction. Now we just need to solve them. I'm going to put two lines here just to sort of show that they're separate problems. It has no mathematical value. I'm just using it as a visual cue. So add 5 to both sides. I end up with 15. 3x, I'm dividing by 3. I tend to circle this to remind myself to flip the inequality if it's negative. It's not here, so that's an irrelevant point in a way. I don't need to flip the inequality over. x is still less than 5. On the other side, I'm going to add 5. I end up with negative 5 here. These cancel. I'm going to bring down 3x, divide by 3. Once again, no flipping. So I can say that x is greater than negative 5 thirds. I need to finish this problem out by making some sort of mathematical statement. So I want to put my numbers in numeric order. So negative 5 thirds is small compared to 5, and it's 5 is big compared to that number. I'm going to put my x in the middle. It's like a little bit of an x sandwich. x is less than or equal to 5. It's greater than or equal to negative 5 thirds. Make sure that your uh, the end or the big end of the uh, inequality is next to the x over here. So it actually sort of changes the way it looks, but it's still the right answer. So you end up with that nice mathematical statement and your answer to number 22 is B. So that's it. Just do what you need to do to get that answer and uh, shouldn't be a huge problem.